Today, in this video, we'll talk about the top 10 iconic monuments throughout the world that you should see if you have the opportunity. There are both modern architectural works and some of the best old works among these monuments. All of these locations are popular with travelers from all over the world, and you will not be disappointed if you visit any of them. Trevi Fountain, Rome, Italy The Trevi Fountain is a well-known and popular tourist attraction in Europe. It's on practically every walking tour of Rome, and it's mentioned in a lot of Rome guidebooks. The fountain is arguably the most renowned water fountain in the world. Having appeared in at least four Hollywood films as of 2020. With a height of 26.3 meters and a width of 49.15 meters wide. Is the city's largest Baroque fountain. Water is depicted in the foundation, because water has the ability to both give life and grind down. Pope Urban VIII decided that the original fountain was not dramatic enough. So he commissioned an Italian artist and architect to design a new one in 1629. Unfortunately, the project was never started, and when the Pope died, it was abandoned. Pope Clement XII, another Pope, held a competition to remodel the fountain in 1730. This time, a design was chosen that incorporated aspects from the 1629 designs. The fountain was completed in 1762 and has remained in that form ever since. Please like and subscribe. Taj Mahal, India The Taj Mahal, often called Taj Mahal, is a mausoleum complex in Agra, Uttar Pradesh, India. The Taj Mahal was erected by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan, reigned 1628-58, to honor his wife Mumtaz Mahal who died in childbirth in 1631 after being the emperor's closest companion since their marriage in 1612. It is located in the eastern section of the city, on the southern, right, bank of the Yamuna, Jumna, river, and is India's most famous and widely recognized structure. The Taj Mahal is roughly 1 mile, 1.6 kilometers, west of Agra Fort, Red Fort which is situated on the right bank of the Yamuna. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque, Turkey The Sultan Ahmed Mosque, popularly known as the Blue Mosque, called Sultan Ahmed Kamii in Turkish, is one of Turkey's most impressive Ottoman mosques, located in the Sultan Ahmed neighborhood of Istanbul. It is Istanbul's only mosque with six minarets. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque is a medieval mosque in Istanbul, Turkey's largest city and the Ottoman Empire's capital, from 1453 to 1923. The mosque is known as the Blue Mosque because of the blue tiles that cover the inside walls. It was constructed between 1609 and 1616, under the reign of Ahmed I. It also has a founder's tomb, a madrasa, and a hospice, as do many other mosques. The Sultan Ahmed Mosque is still in use as a mosque, but it has also become a major tourist destination. The edifice was to be built between Hagia Sophia and the Byzantine Hippodrome and Topkap Palace. The Ottoman Imperial Home Non-Muslims, on the other hand, are barred from entering for 90 minutes or so during each of the five daily prayers and two hours during Friday lunchtime prayers. Sultan Ahmed I was enthroned at the age of 13 at Istanbul, the capital city, over an empire spanning parts of three continents, Asia, Europe, and Africa. Prior to the unexpected death of its then 27-year-old eponymous patron, Sultan Ahmed I, he ordered one of the best mosques in the imperial city to be erected for him in the center of the imperial city. With its perfect composition of climbing domes and six thin towering minarets, Istanbul's Great Mosque is a spectacular city attraction. The Hippodrome of the Mosque provides a panoramic perspective. Do kindly like and subscribe. Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque Abu Dhabi The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque has four 350-foot tall minarets that can be seen across the Abu Dhabi skyline, and from each of the bridges connecting Abu Dhabi to the mainland. In addition to the gorgeous courtyard, which has the world's biggest marble mosaic at 180,000 square feet. 
The magnificent mosque is one of the few in the region that welcomes visitors. Did you know that the construction of the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque took 10 years, commencing in 1996 and ending in 2006? The Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque One of the world's largest mosques and the only one that captures the unique exchanges between Islam and other world cultures. Is both stunning and inspiring. Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the UAE's founder, had a specific goal for this mosque to blend architectural styles from many Muslim civilizations and celebrate cultural diversity by building a haven that is really welcome and inspirational. The mosque's designers were British, Italian, and Emirati. And they used design elements from Turkey, Morocco, Pakistan, and Egypt, among other Islamic countries. The finished product is a stunning, sparkling architectural masterpiece. Kindly like and subscribe. Padala Palace Tibet The Padala Palace is a Dzong fortification in the Tibetan Autonomous Region of China city of Lhasa. From 1649 to 1959. It was the Dalai Lama's Winter Palace, since then. It has been a museum, and since 1994, it has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mount Potalaka, the mythological abode of the Bodhisattva of Alakai Tevara, is the inspiration for the palace. After one of his spiritual counselors, Konko Chophel, died in 1646, pointed out that the site was suitable as a seat of administration. Situated as it is between the Drapung and Sira monasteries and the old city of Lhasa, the fifth Dalai Lama began building in 1645. It may be erected on top of the ruins of Songtsen Gampo's previous castle, the White or Red Palace, which was built in 637. The structure is 400 meters east-west and 350 meters north-south. With sloping stone walls averaging 3 meters thick at the top and 5 meters thick at the bottom. With copper poured into the foundations to help it withstand earthquakes. On top of Marpo Ri, the Red Hill, 13 stories of buildings with over 1,000 rooms, 10,000 shrines, and nearly 200,000 statues tower 117 meters above the valley floor, rising more than 300 meters in all. The three protectors of Tibet, according to legend, are represented by Lhasa's three prominent hills. Avalokai Tevara is represented by the hill on which the Padala is built. Plaza de España, Spain Plaza de España is one of Seville's most stunning structures and a must-see for visitors. Tourists flock to Seville's Venice to see the enormous Renaissance-style building, which has a 500-meter canal running along its perimeter that may be traveled by boat for a romantic experience. The Plaza de Espa, or Spain Square, is a plaza in Seville. Spain's Parque de Mara Luisa, Maria Luisa Park. It was constructed in 1928 for the 1929 Ibero-American Exposition. It is a prominent example of regionalism architecture. Combining features of Spanish architecture from the Baroque Revival, Renaissance Revival, and Moorish Revival periods. Around the plaza, many tiled alcoves were created, each symbolizing a different Spanish province. The tiled alcoves of the provinces on the plaza are frequently used as backdrops for visitors' portrait photos taken in their respective province. A set of covered bookcases flank each alcove, which are now used by visitors. Please like and subscribe. Parliament Budapest, Hungary The Hungarian Parliament Building, also known as the Parliament of Budapest after its location, is the seat of the National Assembly of Hungary, a notable landmark of Hungary and a popular tourist destination in Budapest. It is situated on Kossuth Square in the Pest side of the city, on the eastern bank of the Danube. It was designed by Hungarian architect Imre Steindl in neo-Gothic style and opened in 1902. It has been the largest building in Hungary since its completion. Previously named one of the top world landmarks by TripAdvisor. The Parliament Building in Budapest wowed visitors due to its neo-Gothic architecture. An imposing presence on the banks of the Danube River. Tourists can even book guided tours to explore within the beautiful building. Please like and subscribe. 
Kiev Pechers Glavra, Ukraine. The Kiev Monastery of the Caves, commonly known as Kiev Pechers Glavra, is an Orthodox monastery founded by monks in 1051. One of the holiest places in Kiev, Ukraine, is this landmark. Petra is a Spanish term that implies cave. The term Lavra refers to high-ranking male monasteries for Eastern Orthodox Church monks. As a result, the monastery's name is sometimes known as Kiev Cave Monastery, Kiev Caves Monastery, or Kiev Monastery of the Caves. The monastery is built in a beautiful Baroque style. The beautiful monastery, complete with gold roofing and many other elaborate decorations, is part of the complex. There are also a number of caves that were used to bury monks who lived here. Today, the monastery serves as both a tourist attraction and an operational monastery. The complex presently houses up to 100 monks. You can explore the caves and a museum with religious objects and antiques in addition to admiring the architecture. Tourists flock to the monastery for a variety of reasons. The cluster of gold domed chapels is a visual feast, the treasure of Scythian gold rivals the hermitage. And the underground labyrinths lined with mummified monks are unique and intriguing. Pilgrims have a much simpler rationale, this is the holiest site in the land to them. Please like and subscribe. Empire State Building New York The Empire State Building, which was completed in 1931, is one of New York City's most magnificent sites. The 1,454-foot-tall 102-story skyscraper has been featured in a variety of TV shows and films, including the 1933 classic King Kong and Sleepless in Seattle. The lobby's spectacular Art Deco ceiling murals earned the building a historic landmark. Designed from the Landmarks Preservation Commission on the bottom floor alone. Take a ride up the mast in a glass elevator to the 102nd floor observation deck if you're feeling daring. You'll be welcomed with panoramic city vistas, but be warned, it's not for the faint-hearted. The Empire State Building is situated on the west side of 5th Avenue in Manhattan. Between 33rd and 34th Streets to the south and north. The Art Deco lobby at 350 Fifth Avenue is where tenants enter the building. Prior to August 2018, visitors to the observatories accessed through the Fifth Avenue lobby, which is located at 20 West 34th Street. Take a look at New York as the first rays of sunlight fall over the city. You can see the city that never sleeps from our 86th floor observation deck. Please like and subscribe. Doge's Palace, Venice, Italy Doge's Palace is a well-known landmark in Venice's Piazza San Marco. The Venetian Gothic architectural style was used to build the palace, which was completed in 1340. The Ducal Palace is located in the heart of Rome. The Doge's Palace, Italian, Palazzo Ducale, Venetian, Pazzo Dogal is a Venetian Gothic palace that is one of the city's most famous sites in northern Italy. The Doge of Venice, the former Venetian Republic's top ruler, lived in this palace. Doge's palace was once the residence of the Doge of Venice. The term Doge means chief, and it refers to the head magistrate of either Venice or Genoa. Today, Doge's palace is a museum where visitors can see the palace's numerous chambers. Each area is brimming with sculptures and paintings that are both historical, gorgeous, and uncommon. The Doge's Palace is a magnificent monument, and it is regarded as one of Europe's best. Please like and subscribe.